orders are as follows. Good morning, cadets. Welcome back to our Star Trek Resurgence playthrough. Where we last left off, um, just had to input my captain's codes. I uh, did uh, look through the all the recordings and maybe again I missed missed it or something, but I have no idea what could be the codes. Now this might actually just be something you just enter what you want, you know, your captain's codes to be. So I guess without further ado, let's uh, let's get to it. So let's say I want alpha five X-ray. Voice authorization, writing, Alpha, 5, X-ray. Captain's codes transfer. The ah, updated okay. command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Oh, all right. Who is the new first officer? Please designate a new first officer. Can I... I cannot hold... Oh... Why do I have a feeling that Bedrosian would have been here? So right now I'm down to two choices. Either Westbrook or or Please Mott. designate a new first officer. Yeah, I'm thinking. Westbrook wasn't that as in as in a lot of people didn't quite or don't quite like him. Vermont. I think I'm gonna have to go with Ermot. If Bedrosen was here, I maybe would have chosen her, but Ermot. I am proud to name Commander Ermot as my new first officer, effective immediately. Congratulations. Thank you, Captain. I promise I won't let you down. Computer, Commander Ermot is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization Ermot Echo 4 Lima. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Maybe because... No, I know I'm gonna pause. Uh, I do remember that Solano got me as the first officer instead of Westbrook. Commander Westbrook was devastated to yet again be passed over for promotion as the first officer of the USS Resolute. And one soon forgave Jara for the slight. And Ornat was thrilled and honored to be named as the USS Resolute's new first officer. If Bedrosen was there, both of these guys would have been annoyed. But, I don't know, I feel Ormot might be a better choice. Despite the fact that, yeah, being passed over and over for promotion is gonna get frustrating for someone. Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain Rydek! Excuse me for a minute. This... this is just unbelievable, unacceptable, inexplicable! To be the most senior officer on the bridge, and to be passed over again? And I couldn't believe you until Lieutenant Bedrosian, with the information about Captain Solano being compromised instead of me. But this, I've never felt more humiliated. Look, I understand, you're right to be angry. I know how you must feel given your seniority and history aboard this ship. You have every right to be angry. But I had to factor what would best serve our interests at this particular point in time. Which is why I chose Commander Ermot. He's not even close to being first officer material. He's little more than a bureaucrat who's never set foot off the ship. That is a serious liability at a time when we need experience. Otherwise we don't stand a chance against the Scions. 
Kormat is steady and reliable. The crew on this ship has experienced as many challenges and tragedies as any crew could be expected to endure. What we need now, more than anything, is stability and reliability. A calm and reassuring presence. Ridiculous. Oh, gotta see this one. Uh, and her refusal to listen to reason only compounded his frustration. Oh, well, by the way, you acted right now. I think I made the right choice. <laughs> Hopefully. Right, line of fire. I don't understand. Give me everything she's got. It doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. Internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. I know the process, Captain. With your permission, I'll go in. Of course. Please don't sabotage or anything. If Galvin manages to catch us, there's nothing we can do. We're no match for Taconian technology. Not to mention the shield frequencies. As if that wasn't enough of a challenge of its own. Okay, I'm open to suggestions. I'll consider any suggestions from my first officer. Yep, that's definitely the big. We're being hailed by the Aphelion. Galvin demands to be heard. On screen. You thought you could run. That I would let you escape so easily after taking what's mine? How pathetic and predictable. At least you can take solace knowing you'll be a far braver to calm than you were as a cowardly Koblia. Is it any wonder your people perished? If your every instinct is to run from a fight. Yeah, I think you understand me. Underestimate you me. You underestimate the lengths I'm willing to go to ensure you don't succeed. Sadly, this is as far as you'll get. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an instant if I so desired. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve. As one of us. Prophets won't be able to help you. Come on, focus. Hit us, Dex eight through ten. Yep, all these guys are gonna be creating any structural damage. The 
They were targeting the crew, not the ship. Captain, we have to respond with force. Return fire. Don't let them attack without a counter. Full spread for the torpedoes. Fire torpedoes. Target the source of the beam. No damage from the photon torpedoes, Captain. Their shields are still at full strength. The Aphelion's just too powerful. Damage report from the lower decks. Still can't get through on the comms, Captain. If that was the bioforming ray, we have to assume there are now Takan on board the Resolute. They could all be Takan at this point. Or will be soon enough. Seal the breach. Seal the bridge. No one gets access without my permission. I think that would be wise. It's, yeah, we don't have. We don't want to have any surprises. Here are your new tricorders. Now go. Get to the transporter room. Return salute, be long and prosper. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have a bit of a issue. No time for a, for a quick walk. Come on! We don't know who's on what side, Carter. Oh yeah, because you, you might have Starfleet shooting at us, believing we are the con. So basically, yeah, everybody and everybody's on their own. Security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. <laughs> These are concentrated duridium doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Hell, take it right before if you can get the Takan to wait while you do it. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. All right. Here we are doing this again. We need to tunnel through the shields. That way. And... There we go. There's a problem. We don't have enough power to make the jump. Oh, really? I might be able to divert power from the other side. The signal is now resolved. I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Time is running short. Okay, so Carter doesn't know Portal. So, yeah, you must be Portal. That's great. You must be Portal 6-3. Yes, Guardian of the Takan Empire. I'm Carter. Uh, engineer of the Starship Resolute. <laughs> We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. Do it. Energize. No welcoming committee? And holy moly this... Speak with Portal. Can I check anything else? Yeah, this place is big and also 
I see it looks quite beautiful. If we see Miranda in here, I'm not gonna hesitate. She's taken too many lives. You can't undo that. I mean, yeah, we might have to accept the fact. I'm not gonna see me able to save her. This is pretty wild, Diaz. You better know what you're doing. We're all counting on you. All right, no pressure. Thank you, Edsilar. This is crazy, right? Oh yeah. After this, let's do something really boring. We could replace the paneling in a Jeffrey's tube. Hell, I'd even degauss the plasma manifold. <laughs> or what was it? Uh, we could scrape the thing of the transporter pad. I know there was a non Star Trek episode. Oh, Big Voyager. The glory of it. This ship is a marvel. Even to me. It's almost a shame we have to scuttle it. The galaxy has never seen a ship like this. And it won't see one ever again. Well, I have to give it to him, yeah. It is a beautiful ship. It is beautiful. I'll give you that. Resolute, come in. Okay, so she enjoyed that. Cohesion. I'm gonna try to use my tricorder as a pattern enhancer. Whoa, 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 what's going on? The signal's gone. Are they there? Did you get them? No. They didn't make it. I mean, we have to keep going. We don't have time to mourn. We have to get to the Cartabula and disable it. Hopefully before the battle group shows up. And get served up for the Aphelion's next meal. I am... saturated in Taconian power readings. I... can't feel the source just yet. Yeah, scan surrounding areas, but 46.3 What was your opinion of Carter's what we chose there? When confronted with the task of destroying the Aphelion, Porter was glad to hear Carter shared his appreciation for the ship. I mean, yeah. Crystal radiation, formation of crystals. Moderate levels of tetramatic radiation. What about here? Crystal passage. Geometrically arranged sparkling structures exhibiting a wide range of color textures and shapes formed through natural or artificial processes. Heavy tetramatic radiation detected. Okay, there's actually maybe one more thing I can scan? Somewhere. Ah, here. Probably one of those crystals we have to shoot with the phaser. This way. Or not. I mean, we do have. Walter 6 3 with us. Nothing. I can't reach anyone on the lower decks. Internal comms appear to be fully operational again. Please tell me that's Westbrook. That bioforming ray may have transformed dozens of crew members on the lower decks. Fighting the Aphelion is bad enough. The last thing we need is an insurrection on our own ship. True. Which means we have a narrow window of time to cut them off before. Right, we're not gonna vent the air out. Although, I wonder in 
what way we're gonna vent the air out as in just enough for the crew to just pass out but not die keep them unconscious therefore we're not gonna they're not gonna do more damage or it's vent air out as literally blow the doors open and take them eat them into space we could lock down the lower decks or send a team mm. okay if we lock down the lower decks they have still system they can access some of them they not be crucial but some of them may be crucial and then they might sabotage the ship more and if I send a team and they won't be able to do to hold them off right neither of these options really appeal to me so I'm feeling this is something like uh, I choose the lesser evils. I think I'm gonna send the team. Be a civil war aboard our own ship. I need actionable information. How many have been affected? Can this be contained? Send a team to investigate and assess the situation and have them report back immediately. I'll send a team at once. Okay, now hold up. After the Resolute was hit by the bioforming ray, Dr. Duvall fully supported Jara's responsible approach when she sent a team to investigate. But that was a neutral reaction. It's still like neutral towards positive. Because what I'm seeing here, yeah, she kind of proves of it and what happens if some of the bioformed manage to escape how should the crew engage them or should they we don't want suspicion to run rampant phaser says to stun some ground rules would help we should be cautious if a situation arises, I want phasers set to stun. Of course. I'll let the crew know to proceed with caution. Please tell me you haven't been by a phone, Commander Doctor. Westbrook has been gone for quite some time. The comm system he went to investigate. It's near the affected area. <sighs> or Westbrook. Commander Westbrook. Commander Westbrook, are you there? Computer shutdown initiated. Wonderful. Commander Westbrook is the one who initiated the shutdown. That's impossible. We have ten minutes until the computer core shuts down and all systems are completely offline. A complete loss of all critical ship functions. Only the captain can override it. The computer core itself. <sighs> With me. When it rains, it pours. escaped they attacked us immediately just uh, making sure everyone's okay Callaway sorry about this Get to the computer! 
Okay, we're back here. Wasn't it? I think this was the place where we encountered Miranda with Carter. Captain, are you in here? Are you all right? Ermont asked me to come find you. I came the minute I heard you might be in danger. I'll get this door open. I think I remember the code. Hope you haven't been hurt, Captain. It's not safe here. Chaos in the halls. Just about. Aim phaser. I don't trust this. What's the meaning of this? Computer termination sequence in progress. Damn it! Because, yeah. If I'm wrong about this, Westbrook, I'll apologize later. Of course, he's already pissed, but, you know. Okay, he's coming the other way. Huh? Come on, come on. I'm done playing games with you, Captain. You're only delaying the inevitable. Yep, he's gone. Right. Computer termination sequence in progress. Awaiting Captain's authorization. Can you go down already? Cancel computer shutdown. Definitely gotta hurt. Holy, he's still not down. Damn. You won't kill me. It goes against everything you believe in. Besides, you and I, we have history. Westbrook and I have history. You're not him. Done. I'm not gonna kill him. Still hoping there's a, a chance that we might reverse the process. Computer termination sequence still in progress. Cancel computer shutdown. Voice authorization, Rydek. Alpha. Five. X-ray. Termination sequence cancelled. <sighs> right. That finished that chapter and okay we're back with Carter not try right, no phasers whoa These are the arteries of power coming from the Cotabula at the heart of the Aphelion. I can feel it coursing through my own body. Uh, where did that guy go, though? Look there. I 
cannot move as freely inside this ship. Those emitters are why. If they were deactivated, I could travel past this chamber without setting foot in it. Only Takan can use Takan technology. How do I turn them off? Place these on the emitters. It will suppress their effect. The guards, none the wiser. Got it. I'm coming too. If we both get caught, it's over. If it's just me, you can try again after I fail. Well then, don't screw it up. Another stealth section then. I guess so. I can't face any of the guards. I'll alert every Takan in here. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah, well, it makes sense. Nothing. Back to work. He, he almost saw me. Almost got it. Okay, where are you going? You're going that way. I suppose you're. Wait, do I need to put him here? No. Here, gonna hold up here actually to make sure I don't get spotted by the guard as I'm going up the stairs. Right now, we should be safe. Guards. guards can see the whole room from there. How am I gonna get past them? Huh. Maybe the crystal's portal gave me will get a reaction out of these consoles. It worked. Better move. Okay, interact with consoles to draw enemies to them. This will make it more safe. Right, where did I end up? So you have that guard there. I don't think you're the only one. Okay, let's sabotage this. Might be... Bad. Two to go. Nope. Okay, so yes, we're dropping down. But we're not exactly dropping down yet. Crouch here? I mean, I'm gonna crouch just in case. Yep. Okay, there's a guard over there. I'm gonna wait for him to see where he goes if he turns around. Yep. Okay. Turns around there. For him to do another turn around. No. <laughs> Carter, can we just just stay down all the time? Okay, so we have one of the guards over there. He's already moving. Uh, 
this time you're not gonna come all the way up here. Okay, so you're stopping uh, right at the bottom of the steps on either side. That captain known as Ryback has left an impression on Cal. I used to buy off on her, most of all. Uh, do I need to lure, though? I don't think I need. Let's try it without. Yeah, did not need to lower any of the guards. Okay, so that's my target over there. Oh, hello. So we have a console we can lower and the console we can lower there. Uh, is this guy not moving at all? I think he's not, but yeah, I need to lure him here. So I don't know how long that lure will last. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, that's two. One left. Okay. <coughs> oh, apparently now I can't crouch. Suppose we're gonna be crouched because yeah, we're in the next area. Right. <coughs> I will look in over here. I have a lure there. Right. I have a guard over there. Oh, and there's another guard here. Where are you stopping? Okay, you're stopping there. Is Whoa. someone there? No, nobody's here. This is not great, right? Please don't see me, please don't see me. Oh, he did not see anything. Wow. <laughs> that was really, really lucky. Get out of here. I really did not to check my surroundings <laughs> in the last area. More emitters. Guess we can't teleport the rest of the way. All right. So, anybody we can chat? Was yeah. Oh, I can go all the way back. Nah. Okay. Right, it's just me and SLR right here, not sure where the other guys just uh, went, but I guess we'll find out. Did I have any... I think I had with SLR.
No. No, I don't. I, I don't think I had any uh, reactions to my conversations. But yeah, for now I'm gonna leave it here for this episode and continue next time, and see where we go from there. And I wonder how long this uh, is gonna be. Kind of have a feeling we're getting close to the end, because after we deal with the Aphelion, I'm not sure if there's gonna be anything else, unless. There are going to be more surprises and we're going to have to deal with them afterwards. But we'll have to see. For now, hopefully enjoy this episode, guys. And I'll see you next time. But as always, don't forget to take care.